Thank you, Harriet, for the warm introduction, and I'm very pleased to be with you all today. Uh, many of you in the room have been to a Gartner supply chain or a Gartner IT conference in the last two years, or you've had associates in your organizations attend, and you've heard a phrase that they've captured uh, uh, called bimodal, and what they're referring to, for those of you who haven't heard it, is the challenge we have as business leaders to both simultaneously take our legacy 20th century systems, upgrade them, keep them viable and competitive, and at the same time have a mode of our operation which looks at innovation and transformation. And what I'm going to share with you today is a little bit about how we at Golden State Foods have partnered with IBM to take on that innovation leg of our strategic imperatives. First, let me give you a little bit of an overview about Golden State Foods to put it in perspective. Uh, we, uh, as Harriet said, are a global diversified supplier. We have a few of our customers in the room today. Very pleased uh, with our journey with IBM. Uh, you, you, you think of IBM, you think of, I do, big systems. And I go back to the 360 days and three ring binders with requirements definitions. And I tell you, the last year that we've been working on Watson IoT and blockchain, it's a new IBM. It's, it's a new day. The pace is, is, is accelerated and the engagement is at a much more here now, six to eight week chunk, and it fits within our global footprint because we then can scale with a company of IBM's global reach. Just to give you a sense of how it fits in our uh, operational excellence DNA, we have manufacturing around the globe, and in this one category we have uh, uh, liquid products, condiments, and sauces and, and syrups. We have, as Harriet mentioned, hamburger patties of, of, uh, and protein products. We have a produce set of operations. We even have a thousand acres in China where we grow produce and teach Chinese farmers how to uh, improve the quality of their produce. We have aseptic, high-tech, high high-temperature processing for shakes and, and syrups. So we we have a wide range of manufacturing products, and then we have the logistics services where 100% of the contents of some of these big brands get put in our warehouse and delivered to the back of the restaurant in the middle of the night. We have a, we're have a 70-year-old company. We are values-based. It's very uh, proud because we, we want to align with, with companies that have a similar philosophy and culture. We have over 80% of our associates that contribute to our foundation that give, then give back to the uh, communities for children in, in the areas around our facilities. Let me tell you a little bit about how we bridge in this bimodal strategy. You know, in your, in your day job, most of the time, you're thinking about large, complex movements forward in a big company. It's just the nature of, of how you interact in your internally and with your customers. What we've encouraged our our leaders to do is to think really big, but chunk it up to start small and go fast. It's hard to do that simultaneously with the big projects. So what we decided to do was partner with IBM, and we've, I'm going to share with you three pilots we have underway in, in both Watson IoT and blockchain. And what we like the most about this is, not, is the combination of both the short-term possibilities, but then if these pilots are successful and if the think big vision holds true, then we're already partnered with somebody that has global scale and in my view, most importantly, has a deep history in security and transaction processing for major corporations. So we know that what we're gonna take forward has scalability to it partnered with IBM. I think the premise that you can go fast is, is something that I've seen a change in IBM this, this past 18 months and a, a, a cadence around let's get it done, let's chunk it into those six to eight weeks, and then let's go forward. So let me give you, share with you three of our projects. The first is what we refer to as, as fleet management driver safety. We have, we have lots of devices out there already. We have GPS data, we have temperature IoT data, we have uh, a drive cam in the each, each cab that looks a, a video forward, video back. All these sensory inputs, but our drivers are sometimes 
it, 80% of the time, they're delivering in the middle of the night. We're working with IBM for wearable devices, be able to talk to Watson. We're overlaying weather and traffic information from Watson into the, 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 the decision tree of how our drivers increase the success they have when they make deliveries. And then longer term, help us on decision making and translate that more into a command center, a service center for our drivers that's enabled by Watson to get to the answers quicker to, to more precisely. That's a medium term vision. Imagine the possibilities if we invest all this time with Watson and we get these benefits in the short term. Long term, now Watson knows our business. And when autonomous vehicles come along, what a great position to be in to have the IoT information and the routing information and the decision logic already in Watson, and now we're better positioned to handle autonomous vehicles in five, six years whenever they come along. So we're really excited about this project. In another area, we're pilot we have a connected restaurant. So imagine each one of these uh, houses is a restaurant. Inside the restaurant, our customers are charge challenging us to be more innovative, to drive the, the personnel out of the back of the restaurant up to the front of the counter. So what can we do for inventory in the back, for better predictability on maintenance, for HVAC management, et cetera? In the last month, we've just installed, we started small, we've got two restaurants, we've got about 25 sensors that IBM worked with us to install in two restaurants. We're gathering data, we're applying predictive analytics to it, and the early results are promising. So now you have a tool that helps the store personnel, and then if you're a regional manager, you have a healthier restaurant, a healthier system available through a, a mapping network with, with uh, drop-down capability. Lastly, and I think most game-changing for us, is the intersection of IoT, Watson IoT, and blockchain. Food, global food safety is obviously paramount to us as a human society. As we go forward and say, how do we take these islands of information and islands of process that, that connect the farm all the way to the fork, is there a way to use blockchain to have a tighter integration of the handshake between the transactions, between the data? And we believe the answer is yes. On top of that, can we layer in RFID for, for track and trace at the case level, and can we put temperature data for temperature sensitive products? We have a pilot underway to do that for one product, and I want to compliment Walmart for working with IBM to get this started with uh, pork in China and mangoes, and they've proven out, and IBM is working on a platform. We are working with IBM on an ecosystem concept for 12 other, 11 other companies, and the idea here is that the world will transform into a more of a cloud-based uh, connectivity, and we need to drive that scale on a shared economy basis. And Walmart and, and Golden State Foods are proud to be part of that, and we think that others of you in the room will have major shifts occur in your industry based on the concept of shared economy and ecosystem. And it's better to get started now with small pilots so you know how to play in the game. And in our belief, partnering with IBM was a great path to get us going, and it will be a path for success. So with that, I want to thank you for your time today and welcome questions as I'm available throughout the day.